Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today I'm going to talk about ethanol in fuel and how that affects chainsaws. I am back in the workshop or passes for a workshop and I'm trying to again get some decent lighting in because I know a few people have complained sometimes quite vociferously and sometimes quite aggressively that I haven't had enough light in some of my previous videos. I'll try. <clears throat> so we're here to talk about ethanol in fuel. Now, last year in the UK, um, the government introduced um, unleaded fuel which contained 10% ethanol. And they said this is good for the planet, and it is good for the planet, and you can complain about that if you want, but it is definitely the case that, I mean, I've been doing tree work for 20 years, and I can see the effects of global warming, so uh, it's for the best. But when when this happened, the idea being that it's 90% unleaded fuel and 10% ethanol, it replaced the previous fuel, which was 95% unleaded fuel and 5% ethanol. Everybody went scurrying off to the still website to find out what effect this would have on chainsaws. And still said, this won't really affect chainsaw use. And everybody thought, hmm, okay, brilliant. Except me, and I'll tell you why. About five or six years ago, I moved across to using uh, this stuff, Aspen. Now, this is just an old Aspen bottle. I, I don't actually use Aspen anymore. And Aspen was Aspen was good stuff. It's got no volatile aromatics in it. It's got no benzenes. It's got no ethanol. It's really just pure unleaded fuel. It's expensive, but okay. You know, you can live with that. And then... Um, one, one, um, spring about two years ago, I couldn't actually find any Aspen. So I went back to mixing my own, I went back to mixing my own, um, two stroke. And even though I was using the, the recommended still, um, two stroke oil, I ran into a problem. I was using my trusty old MS230 and I realized that I was actually leaking fuel and that's not what you want on a job. It's not what you want anywhere. And after a fair bit of detective work, I discovered that the, the, the diaphragm and the seals in the carburetor had actually degraded. Now, what happened was, apparently, I'd been using regular unleaded fuel mixed with normal two-stroke oil in this saw. That had degraded the seals. When I switched across to using Aspen, um, that was okay for a while. And then the leak started. And what happened was, the original unleaded fuel, the ethanol in that had degraded the seals. The fuel had swollen the seals, so they continued to work. But when I switched across to Aspen, they gradually began to shrink and contract. And when I dismantled the carburetor, the seals practically fell apart in my hand. So despite the fact that still said their saws are okay, I'm not convinced. Now, in the case of um, any saw that has the new Mtronic carburetor, the electronic carburetor, such as the um, the trusty 441. Okay, I'll I'll sort of buy that. I believe it because that thing can that thing can adjust for um for different fuel concentrations. But in older saws, which are <laughs> which is what a lot of stills are, because stills last a long time. In older saws, with manual carburetors. It's a much bigger issue. So the question is, what do you do? Now it's important to remember that the problem here does not necessarily come from the actual ethanol in the fuel. The problem comes from the fact that the ethanol separates from the fuel. The ethanol then bonds with water from the atmosphere and the water then 
separates out of the fuel so you are effectively running a mix of fuel and water how do i know this you ask well i know this because i have a boat and this is what happens in my outboard engine if i am not careful so the question then becomes okay so what do we do about it well i'll show you there is a solution and it's quite a straightforward one the first thing to do i have a handy litre of unleaded fuel here first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the recommended amount of proper still hp super two stroke mix still reckon this stuff helps stabilize fuel but they're a bit vague about what exactly stabilizing fuel entails well i've used rubbish two stroke mix before the type you get from gas stations and i've not been that impressed with it these store these saws are running at a very very high high rev range for most of their lives so use good quality use good quality two stroke oil okay so let's start i will add this to the 50 to 1 mix which is what still require whoops So, step one, all well and good. Now everybody knows gasoline starts to go off, it starts to go bad after about 30 days. And everybody knows that they completely disregard this fact and they continue to use the gasoline, they continue to use their fuel well past the day and they mix it up with newer stuff or they just top up the existing fuel in the machines. We all do it. I don't throw good fuel away. So that's what we'll ordinarily use in our in our chainsaw. Now the the problem now becomes if I don't use that mix within about 30 days then we're going to start getting ethanol separation, we're going to start getting water being drawn into it. And there's, you think, well, how much water are you going to draw into it? But there's water in the atmosphere all the time. Every time you, every time you open your fuel can, every time you, every time you top up from this, that draws air in to replace the fuel, and it sits there and it pulls the moisture out. So it does happen, and it is a problem. On the on my boat, I've got two separate water separators, and I've got to empty them every month. So this is an issue. So what do we do about that? Well, we take a leaf out of what does boaters do? And we use this. This is Stavel Marine 360 Ethanol Treatment and Stabilizer. I'm not being paid to do this by the way. This is not a paid promotion. You can use any good quality ethanol stabilizer. I just happen to use the marine stuff and I know the marine stuff works and I know it works in a very wet environment now what we do with this is we add it it's, it's American so um, it does say um, <laughs> um, one ounce treats up to 10 gallons at 30 mils treats 38 liters that basically works out as a little bit less than one mil will treat one liter of fuel so what I'm going to do I'm going to take one mil of this. There we are at five, four, three, two point five, two, three point five, one. This is also very good for long term fuel storage. I'm going to put it into there. Agitate it. I 
and that fuel now is good to go for 12 months. It also turns into a disgusting lurid green blue colour, so you'll know when it's been treated or not. Um, I now use this um, in all of my um, petrol and leather engines, lawn mowers, chippers, even in uh, the car sometimes. If I know that it's going to be sitting there for a while. Believe it or not, that will work. That's what I do now. And I have no problems with seal degradation. I have no problems with water ingress. I have no problems with corrosion. So there you have it. Top tip for today. Thanks for watching. Save your chainsaw. Buy some fuel stabiliser.